So guys, first of all, I must apologize for this being late. Um, I was actually sick on Thursday, um, and I was down with the flu for Thursday and Friday, and then Saturday, Sunday, had to go to work. Um, I did have it on the Tuesday midnight launch, um, and did play it for a little bit Tuesday, um, but then got stuck working Wednesday, and etc, etc, etc. Um, so I've, I've played it for a little bit now, I've had a bit of run, and I did want to go making a review of something that I hadn't had a decent go at. So guys, here it is, the Division review, um, what I personally think of the game, and let me know in the comment section below if you agree or disagree, um, or if you think I got anything wrong, I'd love to hear what you guys think. Talk to you soon. So, The Division. <laughs> okay. Uh, this is my uh, first official review, I think, or second professional review, so go easy on me, guys. The Division, what do I think? Okay, first off first, let's go to graphics. Guys, obviously the game is amazingly spectacular. Anybody says that the graphics on this suck, need to buy a decent fucking TV. Um, look, obviously the graphics aren't amazingly three worlds sort of you know like whoa you know jump out of your couch sort of thing because they're so realistic but it's a game you know the, the i personally love the graphics in this game i i have a lot of time for the graphics i think they're amazing and and i think ubisoft has done a really really good freaking job with the graphics you know the overlay map the the pulse scans and everything like that it just happened then they all look frigging amazing, even to the point where the muzzle flash on the guns, the exploding exploding fuel tanks, the shooting the shit out of a car. It all looks really, really friggin' sweet. And Ubisoft have done an amazing job when it comes to the graphics of this game. You know, the, the environment, the snow, the fog and everything that you see from time to time. It is a very, very well done. Um, now, obviously, on the PC, I'm not sure how it goes on that. Um, I presume, obviously, for any medium to high-end system, it should still run perfectly fine. But on the consoles, guys, this game is sweet. There's really no real frame rate drop issues at all. Um, and it runs really, really smooth. Let's get onto something a little bit more negative, and that is called the character customization. Oh, fuck's sake. Ubisoft, what the fuck? Okay. This game's character customization, I would refer to it as a kid's novel. There is no customization on this character, if any. And in fact, the character customization in this game sucks. This is probably the biggest problem that I have with this game right about now. It is like they've spent the rest of their time doing everything, and then they're like, oh shit, the game's coming out in two days. Let's quickly go through and put a few scars and, and, a, and a few tattoos and give them, a, you know, five to ten haircuts and, and a couple of different races and oh, a male and a female and that's it. In fact, Destiny had more of a fucking customization than this did. And that was flamed for being bad for customization. So it makes you make you wonder what people are going to be thinking about this. The guys, the customization in this game sucks. It really, really does suck. Um, which is unfortunate because the rest of the game is so friggin' amazing. I really didn't want to go bringing down a review on a game because of fucking customization. But unfortunately, it has to because it sucks. So, we'll get onto something a little bit more positive. But, yeah, character customization. Guys, this is not The Sims. Do not think you're going to be making Sims characters because you just won't. So, moving on to sound effects and, and music. Obviously, music for the game is great. Um, I've never really had a game where I didn't really like the music that much, so just skipping over on that. Sound effects for the game, I find, is really, really, really well done. Um, you know, the guns sound realistic. You know, I'm playing this on, on a, a stereo headset. Sounds amazing. Um, you know, the fires, the explosions, and everything like that. The, the one problem I do have is that the 
the enemy are very much arbitrary in what they say. For example, if I hear one more friggin' time, oh my god, they killed Alex! It seems like every bad guy's name is Alex, and every time I kill someone, his mates yell up, they killed Alex! Really, Ubisoft, you couldn't put in more than one name? You couldn't put in, you know, 20 different names and and make it random? You know, so, oh my god, he killed Alex, and the next time, oh my god, he killed Bob! And, oh my god, he killed Splinter from the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles! Um, you know, that sound effect, obviously, I find is a little bit annoying. Uh, but apart from that, the uh, the rest of the sound effects are great. The guns, the, the effects, the sound effects... Um, the phones and everything like that, obviously the intel, everything like that, comes up very quite easily. The flamethrowers and that sound very, very friggin' realistic to the point where I'm having nightmares. Um, I just, well, if I see one more cleaner, I'm just gonna run as well. But apart from that, obviously the sound effects and, mo and music are very, very well done. Now, while we're talking about sound effects, obviously character voices and stuff like that are very well done as well. Um, oh, hey, look, they're not great, they're not excellent, they're not bad, they're not, they're just, yeah, they're good. Um, you would expect some of these sort of egos and that to come through in the voice, which they do. Um, you know, obviously I find that the doctor herself, doctor, I think it's Kendall, is very, a little bit egotistic, and it does come through in her voice, so they've done an amazing job of doing stuff like that as well. Um, and you know, yeah, the the sound effects, you know, the uh, Isis or whatever your suit name is, um, that is very well done as well. Um, but yeah, guys, look, generally, sound, music, voice, sound effects, I have no real problem whatsoever. Um, I think it's all pretty well done, and you know, especially the gun effects and sound effects and the footsteps and the grenades, it's all, it's all very very well done. So, moving on to gameplay. Um, okay, gameplay I find is generally pretty well done. Um, obviously, the guns, the firing, the, the cover, cover elements and everything like that is amazing. I did have a bit of an issue when I first started playing the game on the Tuesday night. Um, trying to authorize my agent to start. I actually had to delete my character and restart it. Um, just because of the fact that I couldn't do that. And also the fact that Ubisoft has put on this real world colliding with other agents has caused a few issues with people trolling the division and deciding to stand in the middle of friggin' doorways blocking the way so you can't get out. Um, this is actually was happening the very first minute that it was going live. Um, people obviously thought it was pretty funny straight up and it really sort of took off and especially in the first few minutes when everybody was trying to authorize their agent and get into the game. Thanks guys who decided to stand in the middle of the front of the computer. Um, apart from that, obviously, look at the end of the day, gameplay itself. Um, I find that the walking around the city gets a little bit tedious. Um, to be honest, like there is always you can fast travel back to your main base, which is fine. Um, but once you've gone from your base back to the mission, for example, if you're going halfway across the map, you've got to walk all the way back. I would have liked to have seen more fast location travel spots, um, and that probably would have made it a lot easier for us. Um, you know, maybe putting five or six fast travel locations around the map or something, so that it would make it easier for you to fast travel there, and then do those missions that are close by. Maybe something that you have to discover to unlock, like they do in Assassin's Creed. Uh, glitches, I've had a couple. Not many, but a couple. Um, mainly the death scenes, as you just saw there. Uh, they're a little bit... Uh, yeah. Um, there's actually one that comes up further, where you actually see the guy go like backwards, like his back's being bent back and he's humping a wall. Um, so obviously there are a few games with glitches. Uh, a few times where I've gone up to a computer to hold down X to activate it or to use it and it hasn't registered and I've had to do it three or four times. Stuff like that generally, um, but it gets a little bit annoying, but apart from that, no real big glitches or, or crashes or anything like that like I had in the beta or the alpha, uh, more in the alpha than anything. Um, so yeah, I had a few of those crashes in the alpha, but nothing in this so far touch wood. Now, one problem I am having with this at the moment is the respawn. 
<coughs> when you and all your team dies, it respawns you into the game. And the problem is, is that the enemy is standing right there and you get absolutely slaughtered. Um, this is especially the case when you're playing with someone who's on your team who is a higher level than you because the enemies are automatically weighted to the highest player. For example, I was playing the other day, I think at that stage I was only like level 10, had a mate jump in and he was level 14 and everybody on our team got absolutely smashed because no one realized that was going to happen and it got to the point where everybody else just left and we had to, I had to go through and restart the game or restart that mission and try and find guys that were around my level to sort of help with the compensate with the, the leveling system um, and it's not just the leveling system and the automatic adjustment of the the players that's annoying it's also the fact that, like I say, when you respawn, there are amount of times that I would be respawned and the guys would be standing right next to me and all they'd do is turn and shoot me again. And then I would die again and then, yeah, sometimes you couldn't even run to get to cover. It was just that frustrating. And in fact, I've got video of it. I'll show you now. Or I've put the video on the, by this stage. So that is obviously a big, serious problem. Obviously, I know if they get into things where, obviously, if they have, like, safe areas where you can respawn and the enemy can't get you, people do take advantage of that and sort of hide in those safe zones to pick off the enemies. Um, but I don't know what to suggest to fix it, but something needs to happen because this whole respawning and getting slaughtered by the enemies really is frustrating at the best of times. Uh, but apart from that, gameplay, that's the only thing I really have a problem with. Apart from that though, the the, uh, the gameplay movements, the hiding behind cover, it's all very, very well done and generally Ubisoft has done an amazing job for it. Weapon customization in the game is an amazing thing. They've done a really, really good job with it. Let's face it, a gun is a gun. All right, at the end of the day, <laughs> if you give me a 50 cal gun, there's not a lot I can do. It's not going to make it look like a 50 cal gun. But that said, all the scopes, the muzzle flash, or the muzzle or barrels or sights and stuff that they've done have done an amazing job of allowing you to fully upgrade those guns and to give make it slightly look a little bit bit different, make it look like your own gun. Um, obviously, also these mods and all that also do allow you different things. For example, there's a scope that you get that looks like it's a telephotic scope. Um, you put that on the gun and then zoom in and then zoom in again and you can actually snipe people with it. Where if you use a red dot sight, you obviously see the red dot come up on the enemy when you're aiming it and allows you to shoot them in more accuracy as well. Um, so depending on what mod you use on what gun as to what you can do with it, and that's a, that is a great, there's that bug there. Sorry to interrupt, there's the bug. Um, and that it does allow you to go through and obviously go through and, and customize the guns a little bit and, uh, and allow you to go through and, and make them all personal and make them all unique. Now, obviously the storyline, I find the storyline's pretty good. Um, you know, it's better than Destiny's storyline. Um, and I generally don't have any complaints. I, I know generally what's happening with storyline all the time. Um, there's no real sort of guessing as to what I have to do. Um, it does an amazing job of going through and explaining it all to you. Um, the intel, the mobile phones and all that that you find are a great way of sharing all that information. Um, and it's something that maybe Bungie needs to look at more when it comes to Destiny. Um, some way of explaining it a little bit better for them as well. But as for Ubisoft, obviously look, Ubisoft has always been really, really well at storylines. Um, and, and really, really good job. So, you know, obviously full credit to them for the storyline. Um, the characters and all that I find are amazing. Um, you know, they're not the best, they're not the excellent, they're not the worst. Um, but, you know, they're good. They're, uh, they have a decent job and they do a decent thing. And the fact that you go out saving some of these characters and then allowing you to bring them back to the base to help build it up, that allows you to do cosmetic differences to the base as well. It allows you to go through and to, and to keep involved in this game and it makes it seem like you're making a real world change. Now, also during the course of this, talking about the storyline, um, I've also been showing the cinematic that comes up when you first start the division. Um, just quickly want to touch on this, guys. The cinematics I find are amazing. Um, it really does an amazing job of outlining exactly what's happening 
gives you the full backstory and and guys look the, the cinematics the in this game are just amazing i cannot state that enough the only call us um, i was really really impressed with it um, and, and just obviously no the whole backstory gets explained about this flu no or virus that goes Detect around. It tells you a little bit about how it was spread yeah, and what happened. And, and it, gives, it fills in a bit of a story as to Darn what happened neighbors. a few days, you know, what you was it like a few days after and, and how society progressively just failed. So full credit to them for their cinematics. It was a really, really well done. In fact, all the cutscenes in it are really well done as well. Now the crafting in the game is really, really well done. Um, I haven't had a lot of time to play with this, um, but yeah, generally uh, the crafting, I'm still running around chasing tools, and, and that also does allow you to go through and, and push to get the side missions done as well, because obviously you'll go through and you'll find electronic parts or fabric or whatever it may be. That sort of allows you to go through and get those sort of done and gives you some sort of reward for it. Um, now, obviously, I'm looking forward to getting a decent telephotic scope for obviously my uh, my secondary secondary rifle. At the moment, I'm running around with I think it's a standard white one. Um, so yeah, obviously, crafting comes into play when you're doing stuff like that uh, because if I get the right tools and stuff like that, I can actually make one, um, which I'm actually looking forward to. Now, apart from that, crafting is very well done. Looking forward to having a little bit more play with this, but uh, generally pretty happy with what it does and how it does. Now the enemy in the division, obviously I've already gone and talked about, about fractions. One thing I do find about it is that the enemies generally are bullet sponges. Um, you know, there's there's people that you're having to shoot 20 or 30 times in the head and it just doesn't seem to be making that much of a difference when it comes to headshots and stuff like that. Um, that's probably something I would like to see them fix a little bit. Um, it basically becomes a bit of a reload battle. Um, where I'm finding that before I go into a battle I have all my guns fully reloaded and then during the middle of the battle my primary will run out I'll switch to my secondary and then probably finish them off with the shotgun that's my, th my tesserate. Um, so that does get a little bit annoying um, I don't know maybe later in the game you get some like bigger magazines or something like that it's not a real big problem but it does something that seems a little weird um, that you have to shoot the average guy 400 times in the stomach or in the chest or or shoot him 20 times in the head and which in reality which would be there would be nothing left um, so that's definitely interesting as well to be honest the, also the vocality in the game is an amazing job as well um, every rooftop every car every crate is a leg up um, you know you can you can take the option of fighting them on your level, literally, or jump up the ladder, go up along the catwalk and shoot down at them. And, and flanking and stuff like that in the game has also become really, really important too. Um, so that's definitely something that they've done an amazing job at. Just the whole strategy of this game is really, really well done. Um, and in fact, your strategy in the game depends on how well you're going to pull this off. Um, you know, if your strategy sucks and you're not going to use cover and you're going to stand out in the middle of the road saying, hey guys, shoot me, you're going to get shot to shit house. Um, you know, people that use cover, that use the um, uh, catwalks and stuff like that to their advantage are definitely going to have a lot more fun with this game than someone is a little bit duh and not really think about what they're going to do. That subsequently is obviously more, more for mature audiences and for obviously people who want more strategic and stuff like that as well. The abilities, the perks and everything like that in the game are fantastic. Um, in fact, to the point where I'm sitting there thinking, oh shit, do I want this or do I want that? Um, obviously the healing one is always something that I'm always going to leave on because it's just friggin' really helpful. Um, but you know, you decide you want the other slot to take up turrets, or do you want it to be a drone, or something along those lines. Um, to be honest guys, it, it really is a hard choice with some of these things, because all the perks are really, really well. And also depending on your team too. You know, if you've got five guys all running around with the pulse, or four guys, sorry, running around with all the pulse scan, it's a bit of an overkill. Um, so if you've got another mate that's got the pulse scan, then obviously you can switch yours out to something else. And that also comes into the strategy of it as well. 
um, you know, deciding if your mates are going to have what and uh, and maybe changing your layout to something that there's no one else is going to have so there's no real void or anything like that. Um, but look, guys, generally as for the division, look, this game is really, really well done. Um, as for buy or leave, I'm definitely going to say buy it. Um, definitely have some fun with it. Also with the pending raids and stuff like that that are coming out, it really is going to give Destiny a run for its money. Um, and, and I really wish to see this game really do succeed. Um, but at the end of the day, obviously it's up to everybody's individual choices. Um, personally, I love the game. I think they've done an amazing job with it. Um, I was supposed to play it for an hour today and it's been three hours and I'm still technically having it running in the background while I'm doing this review. So, gives you an idea of how fun it is. And it is a lot of fun. And it is a really, really well done. So, guys, definitely check it out. Um, let us know in the comment section below what do you guys think of it. Uh, did you enjoy the review? Uh, or did you enjoy the division, more likely? Um, sorry for this review being late. Like I said before, I was sick. Um, so, it has been delayed. But, guys, look, let us know in the comment section below what do you think of the division. And, and what you want to see, if anything changed. Um, definitely bullet sponges is one. I'd like to see that sort of reviewed a little bit. Um, but hey, look, who knows, maybe they'll get it a little bit easier when you get higher level. But guys, enjoy the division. Have a great night.